Bande Matram, welcome all of you. <coughs> this morning the topic of discussion will be on the joy of God is secret and wonderful. This is a great topic. The joy of God is secret and wonderful. It is really, really a very meaningful aphorism from Sri Aurobindo uh, uh, with uh, 464. Sri Aurobindo quotes here, the joy of God is secret and wonderful. Secret. Um, and so you have to feel the secrecy and it is wonderful, no doubt of it. It is a mystery again Sri Aurobindo quotes and a rapture, simultaneously another thing. First, the love, joy of God is secret and wonderful. Again, Sri Aurobindo quoted, it is a mystery, and the letter Sri Aurobindo quotes, it is a rapture at which common sense makes mouth of mockery. Common sense, what normally um, uh, we feel that is, uh, normally we see common sense. Uh, people stay in, a, uh, in an outward, uh, in a, uh, um, this thing, outward experience or superficially, or staying on the front, they feel it is, uh, they make mouths of mockery. But the soul, if you go deep hid within, the, you can, if you see in the vision of the soul, in the sight of the spirit, but the soul that has once tested, if the soul once it has tested, it can never renounce whatever worldly, dis, you know, <clears throat> disrepute, torture and affliction it may bring us. So very interesting, it is a very good aphorism, it is a one of the top advices and of course it is a crystal clear uh, um, uh, suggestion from uh, Sri Aurobindo, very interestingly he, called, uh, he quoted, I will try to explain and uh, of course start from the beginning, 464. The joy of God is secret and wonderful. There is no doubt of it. We have taken it. It is secret and wonderful. It is a mystery and a rapture. It is a mystery and a rapture. A secret, wonderful, mystery and a rapture at which the common sense, common sense which actually it is uh, you know, staying on the surface, looking everything artificially, superficially. So makes mouth of mockery. But the thing is that if you go deep within, if you rush inside, uh, but the soul that has once tested it, this uh, joy of God, the soul which has once tested it, it can never renounce, that is the first condition, whatever world, worldly disrepute, torture and affliction it may bring us. So it will never, never, never renounce because it is the soul that has seen in the crystal clear vision, it is very much clear for the soul. Whatever world disrepute, rapture, torture and affliction it may bring us, it will never, never renounce because it is spirit. If it is from the common sense, naturally it will bring some the mouths of mockery. So, thing is that uh, while um, first of all we have to know God, um, second we have to know what is the uh, joy of God. And uh, of course, uh, after very difficult to know in the common, with the common sense because it is secret, wonderful, mystery and a rapture for which the common sense makes mouths of mockery. But uh, if you have seen in the vision of the um, spirit, soul, it, if it has tested it, naturally you will find a great deal of things. Uh, there is no doubt of it. So it will never renounce whatever, you know, mockery over whatever is coming, um, disrepute, torture, affliction, everything is coming. But the thing is that it, the soul with its own vision and with its own realization, it will never renounce it. Second, again, Sri Aurobindo went forward, um, God, the world's guru, the world guru. You know, God, that is a different term we have new, uh, new, known. God is something uh, we take uh, um, illimitable, um, you, know, um, you know, unknown, unknowable, unseen, so many ways. Actually, we are living um, uh, the God, we are coming away to the, from God, but God has never left us. Thing is that still in the course again, the God, the world guru is wiser than thy mind and trust him. Because normally what we change, what we observe, what we reflect is actually, uh, uh, this is the outward expression, you know, God, the world guru, is wiser than thy mind. 
whatever the mind when it even if it is feel feels if it feels that uh, it is wisest wiser than the wisest in many ways it is boastful but thing is that we must know god the world guru is wiser than thy mind trust him trust the god the world guru and uh, not that eternal self seeker um, and uh, arrogant skeptic so very good interesting thing it has been described here you know that uh, sometimes and most of the time what really we do we don't know when we think of the guru uh, simply we don't have the any specific um, uh, answer why we accepted guru because everybody is accepting he has got some reputation he is, but they don't know the, the he is sitting in many ways but uh, if we can be able to look into our soul or analyze guru must have the three qualities you know so you are in the course here teaching example and influence teaching example and influence they are the, the three instruments of the guru nitin three must be he must have he must be differentiated he must be reputed with this principle teaching example and uh, influence the guru should be accepted in all the ways not only physically artificially superficially or mentally transcendent impersonal and the personal and what is the characteristic how shall we know that he is the true guru really sri aurobindo course um, he is a man helping his brothers man helping his brothers child leading the children a light kindling other lights that is the characteristic of guru the great guru they go that way once the guru is chosen most of the time guru after some time we leave we go for another um, uh, guru in search of somebody else something else in search of some another being some another client um, uh, you know it is happening and mother has also explained it you my man has the uh, choice he can uh, leave the god but uh, to leave go man for god is not at all possible so god can't leave man has the tendency of leaving the guru and they do they have the choice and they normally do but god can't once a guru is chosen nothing must be hidden from him nothing must be hidden from him that is the major thing you must take care of here see in the course um, god the world guru is wiser than the mind something we are choosing we are thinking we are taking in our mind only trust him but what's here in the course and uh, the explains of course advises trust him and not that eternal self self seeker eternal self seeker self declared god self declared guru and the self um, uh, cheating guru also may go <laughs> he is cheating himself cheating all around so many great gurus are now in on the bars of the jail and the arrogant skeptic again <clears throat> sir in the course beautifully uh, god uh, has uh, so arranged life our life is arranged by a god it is so arranged by life god has so arranged life that the world is the soul husband the world is the soul husband krishna against here in the course krishna what happens is it's a divine paramar so this with this um, arrangement this world is progressing because god has planned that way god has arranged life in the, uh, um, the life in that way actually the world is the soul's husband world is the soul's husband krishna it's divine paramar we owe a debt of uh, service to the world and are bound to it by its law so this world it is a great uh, arrangement god has arranged life in this world uh, uh, that the world is the soul's husband soul's husband is the world and krishna is the divine paramar so we owe a debt of service to the world and are bound to it by the law the common law what has been created it has, we, we are bound to it a compelling opinion law a compelling opinion and the third a common experience of the pain and the pleasure and fine but actually three things here in the quoted here the god the god has arranged this world in that way that the so it is the world is the soul husband second krishna is the paramar divine paramar so whatever service we are um, uh, providing we owe a debt of service to the world for this world and is bound by its law number 1 second 
compelling the opinion third common experience of the pain and the pleasure but our hearts worship and our um, and our free and secret joy are for our lover so that is from us from our the, with respect to service and uh, hearts worship and our free and secret joy are our um, actually oh, uh, for our lover so again stay in the course beautifully that will go little bit um, forward we will say um, uh, stay in the course here uh, um, again the skeptic mind doubts it is a great thing the skeptic mind doubts always because it can't understand mind another mind we have different kinds of mind with different types of minds we have seen stay in the course here the skeptic mind that is actually um uh, is all doubts always skeptic you know that the characteristic is the doubt is always because it can't understand but the faith of the god lover uh, persists the faith of the god lover persists in knowing although it can't understand very difficult very um, good differentiation we can feel the skeptic mind always doubts doubts because it can't understand but the faith of the god lover persist faith of the god lover persists in knowing although it can't understand both are necessary both are necessary to our darkness because we are packed with darkness and we are in darkness but uh, there can be no doubt which is the mightier among the two skeptic mind and mind and the faith of the god lover sir when the asks uh, which is mightier it is um, um, no doubt um, there is um, which is mightier what i can't understand now i shall some day master today suppose i can understand nothing one time will come when i shall be master and if i lose faith and love i fall utterly from the goal which god has set before me that is a great thing great orientation great remark from asiyar bindo very beautiful lot of things good things are there beautiful comparisons we take into our mind steer in the course of the first skeptic mind doubts always because its characteristic is to doubt and it can't understand second faith of the god lover persists in knowing it although it can't understand even if it is not understanding but it has faith so a um, faith of the god lover persists steer in the uh, comparison in both cases both are necessary for our darkness because we are um, very much in, inside the darkness it is only darkness that surrounds our everything our environment but there can be no doubt which is mightier there can be no doubt which is the mightier but uh, what i can't understand now steer in the course what i can't understand now i shall some day i will master even if i am unable uneligible to know it something today tomorrow i may be a master on it but if i lose faith that is the major thing if i can't understand now possibly definitely it will be i will master it on tomorrow second thing but uh, on the contrary if i lose faith and love if that that is lacking i lose faith and love i fall utterly from the goal which god has set for me so confusion doubt skeptic mind that is a, it has a very good definition so today i have failed in my understanding tomorrow i may be a master but if i lack i lose the faith and love i fall utterly from the goal which god has set before me so again we are going forward i may question god i may question god initially it was the world's guru here my guide and teacher that's that in that way sri aurobindo has explained you know sri aurobindo course i may question god i may question god god who is there my guide and my teacher so in that way sri aurobindo has asking my guide and teacher he is my um, he is the god whom i can asking i may question him and ask him am i right or hast thou in thy love and wisdom suffered my mind to deceive me great question it carries a lot of things i question i may question god who in which way who really god is me while i am questioning my guide and teacher and ask him am i right am i right or am i right or next part thou in my love and wisdom suffered my mind to deceive me doubt thy mind 
if the wilt but doubt not the god leads thee so that is the question naturally here two things have been said doubt thy mind if the wilt so it is possible in that doubt also god's presence is there and the second thing doubt not it is a great clarification from god from the master doubt not that god leads me no doubt of it god is leading leading me to his, to my predestined goal in the process of evolution he is inching me and he is carrying me upwards there is no doubt of it it must not be doubted even if i doubt my mind because you know mind uh, um, uh, its its uh, characteristic is to doubt normally it doubts it has nothing um, no work and nothing more than to doubt you can doubt your mind if thou wilt there is no problem problem even if maybe little problem or whatever is there because you doubt if doubt thy mind if thou wilt but doubt not the god who leads you anyway it is a great thing great aphorism i think it will be very helpful and we'll stop here to go for the next uh, one to discuss in my in our next session bande matram